Welcome back to Alpha Polaris. Alright, the next two things I need to do, as the hint so hopefully tells me, I mean so helpfully tells me, I need to cleanse the bones Al brought for further examination, and I need to give the first antibiotic shot tonight. Obviously the antibiotic shot for the bear is of much greater importance at the moment, because it's very time dependent, because it's going to die if it doesn't get antibiotics. And I believe I have that, right? I think I have the medicine. Uh, yes I do. I assume I don't need, like, an empty syringe for it. Or maybe I do. Um, do we have any syringes? No, it's probably automatic. I don't think I actually need a separate syringe. So, let's go give that poor bear a shot. In more ways than one. A shot at life. And a literal shot. Aww. How you doing? I'm gonna call you... Icy. We'll see how she copes in that cage. Yeah, she's gonna be there for a while. So, can I just... Wait, can I just give it to her? Like, through the cage, or... It seems dangerous. I can't deliver it like this, it has to be injected to work. Okay, never mind, you do need a syringe. Well, I have the reversal agent, but I don't think I... Wait a minute, there's a... Oh, there's a new note. Okay, what did I write in here? Oh, that's just the note about the newest bear. Tooth infected. Yep, it's 2.8... Whatever, 300 kilograms... Okay. Do I have to give it the reversal agent? Oh, uh, I guess I do. There you go. And now I have an empty syringe. There we go. She'll bite my hand off. Uh. How, how do I give it to her then? Well, I need to inject her with it, so obviously I need to get next to her, right? <laughs> Do I have to put her out again? I can't sedate her again, she might die. That's what I thought. Uh... Hmm. Okay, how do I make her not bite my hand off? I mean, the only way I can think of is to sedate her, but I can't do that because it would be dangerous. Uh, yep, filled with the antibiotic solution. Hmm. I don't know. Can I, like... <laughs> can I, like, duct tape it to the flag or something? Not yet. Wait, not yet? Is that implying that I'm gonna have to do that at some point? I mean, like, can I, s I could put the syringe on some sort of a pole, but then how would I actually inject it? You know, I need something to push it. I don't know. I'm just going to come back here later. Maybe I'll find something. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. Holy shit. It's not a 4x4, four four, it's a 6x6 six six Arctic Utility Vehicle. Damn! That thing is badass. Sup, Ted, the non-Irish Irishman? Totally seems excited. Well, seems like a lot of men get excited by big trucks. Not me, but I do respect it. Especially in a climate like this, where it's actually needed. What do you think about the find? What find? I'm thinking of a big fat bonus. Al is a good man. 
Now let me ask you something. When are you gonna get it on with the Inuit princess, huh? What a fucking douchebag. Every single time I've talked to him, he's just an utter douchebag. Even his art, his little clip of art here, shows how much of a douchebag he is. His head is perpetually cocked to the side. <sighs> I, I'm disappointed one of the options isn't fuck you, stab him in the eye. Uh, I'll joke about it. You know I couldn't possibly. I love you. <laughs> Listen, queer, there's some important things you should know about her. Uh, did the audio not play? Uh, audio? Hello? Hello, audio? Could you come back, please? Okay. It seems to be broken. Click. The word is that we had to transfer her to keep a horde of ogling corporate losers away. Like the Eula guy she was mad about. And that she enjoyed the hassle an awful lot, too. Just take a number, pal. Okay, that's enough. I have things to do. But if you need some advice about Inuit women in general, you are now talking to the Eskimo champ. Right. My point is that she'll eat you alive. She's done it before. How about you go eaten alive by a bear? You know what? I have an idea. How about you go inject the bear? with the antibiotic solution. Ah, <sighs> all right. Apparently the wheelbase is designed to distribute its weight over a wide area. I don't know if it works, but it sure looks cool. Indeed it does. Okay. Okay. Well, nothing here is gonna help me. So back to the laboratory. I could just start on the whole bone thing. I'm apparently supposed to clean the bones. I'm not really sure why that's my job. But apparently it is. Alright, what else do we have here? Let's take a look. Teddy bear. That's mine. My folks don't distinguish polar bears from the brown ones. I mean, they're, they are all bears. Fume hood. is used for fume containment. Yep. Photo. That's Al's wife. I think she passed away. Oh. Office Buddha. It radiates humility and enlightenment. <laughs> and also obeseness. Map of Greenland. That's the Euler Petroleum Takeover Plan. Takeover. Sounds... environmentally friendly. What the hell kind of a seat is that? It looks like the seat top melted. It's like a saddle. I've never sat in a seat like that before. That actually might be comfortable, maybe? I don't know. Photochromic window. I don't even know what that means. The surface is designed to reduce glare. Oh. I guess you would get a lot of glare from the, s the snow, huh? Nova's workstation. Ammonite fossil. Mollusk fossil. Ammonite, an agency dwelling nastiness. Nova prepares those in her spare time. That creature lived in warm seas 200 million years ago. Or that's what Nova said. Station blueprint. That's an EPGE poster designed to promote their facilities here. Ooh, can I take a look at it? I guess it's a... Yeah, it's a map of the place. Alright, well, I think I've already been everywhere. I'm in the laboratory, I'm here. A2. Uh, that's the lobby, B1, storage, B2. Water well radiator. C1 is the garage. Garage hoist. And then you have the kitchen. Recreation room and the comms. And then you have the living uh, quarters. All right. Cool, cool. Alright, anything else in here? I don't need anything from there. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Table. Not much empty space in here. Yeah. I guess you don't exactly have a space surplus when you're in a tiny facility like this. Alright, so I guess I'm going to be using this stuff to clean the bones. I guess I'll clean the bones and then see if I can figure out the... 
the antibiotic solution thing later? Maybe I'll come across some sort of a tool that I hadn't thought of? I don't know. Stone putty. Ammonite glue, it can be used to piece these specimens together. Brush, probably used for removing dust. Acetic acid, highly concentrated acetic acid, it's used as a solvent. Distilled water, a pure form of H2O for lab purposes. Okay, well, they don't... Are they even broken? I mean, I could just pour the acetic acid over them, I guess. Or maybe, like, brush them first, then acetic acid, then wash it in distilled water, and then use the stone putty if it's broken somehow? I don't know, let's take a look at this stuff. It must be eons old. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. What have we got? Tray. Some gear Nova uses to prepare the fossils. Femur and humerus. I was going to make a joke about the humerus, but I don't think it would have been very funny. Ha, ha, ah. Femur. The bones are so mineralized that it's hard to examine them properly. They must be thousands of years old. Humerus. The bones... Oh, yeah, same description. Decomposed surface. Holy crap, there are a lot of symbols on this thing. Holy shit. Yep. Decomposed surface. There are markings below, but I, I can't make any... I can't make anything of them. Hmm. Could I clean it, or is it just forever lost? I don't know. Let's try to clean up the bones first. Alright. Whoops. Okay, both of them, let's brush them. Alright, uh, put them in acid. I don't think that would lead to anything useful. Really? Are you sure? Oh, wait a minute, I can actually use it kind of in reverse. I can use the acetic acid on the bones? Hmm. Well, maybe I'm supposed to use all the chemicals over here, right? Like, am I not supposed to use it at the fume hood? Oh, wait, I can actually use this. Okay. Uh... What did I just do? Container in fume... Oh, okay. Alright, let's take this, put it on the table, and let's get to work. Do some science. Let's plop these babies down here. Alright. And done! Look good as new. Oh, wait, I haven't done anything. Um, brush? No, I can't use it. Okay, acid. You cannot start with an acid? Chemistry 101? <laughs> well, guess what? I never took chemistry. Water? Water. Okay. Wait, is it just like too concentrated, so I need to put it, mix it with distilled water? Apparently I do. Alright, so it's not pre-diluted. I guess that makes sense. And... Wait a minute, shouldn't... I just took this out of the fume hood thing. Shouldn't I be putting this in there before I put acid in it? Isn't the point of this to contain the chemicals and I just discontained them? <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, I don't think I can brush them, right? That'd be after. I guess put it back. Done? Let it sit in there and then wash it and brush it after it's done? Hmm. A mild solution of acetic acid should dissolve the calcite. I'll check the results in the morning. Oh. Alright, well that's going to take some time. Yeah, I guess it was too much to hope that it would be instant, huh? Looks like the only thing left to do is give the first antibiotic shot tonight. But, I do want to take a look at this. Alright. Muddled symbols. There are messy symbols on the lower part, almost like they were intended to look bad. 
Why would they be intended to look bad? Two markings? Those two markings really stand out. The lower one looks human. It does, actually. It does look human. Decompose surface. Already looked at that. Symbol arc. Is that... I think that's the sun. A magnificent arc of symbols on the upper part. Looks almost like the sky is bleeding. Ugh. Looks kind of like the sun, and then it looks like it's wrapping around to go to... I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like a flower, but then it also kind of looks like it's raining. Maybe it is a flower and it's raining? I don't know. Alright, what are these? I don't know how to pronounce that. Cartouche? Cartouche? Cartouche symbol one? These three symbols are inside a... something, as if together they would have a special meaning. Yeah, they must be linked if they're inside of this ring. Alright, they're all the same description. I can use them. I don't know how to interpret these. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to come back to this later. Because at the moment, I don't know what to do with them. There's no way I could possibly interpret them. Maybe the bones will hold some information? Maybe? I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure why there'd be information on the bones that would help me decrypt the symbols, but who knows? Okay. How am I going to give the shot to the bear? Let's go talk to some people, see if anyone can help. Is there anyone down in the basement? Nope. Alright, well you're a douchebag and you certainly can't help me. Let's go talk to Al. Al. He, he's not there. Where the hell is he? Al. Maybe they're all in here. Well, Nova's gone. Are they in the kitchen? Ah, there's Al. Don't know where Nova is. Maybe she's in her room. Ah, Rune. Quite a day, wasn't it? You know what I find really strange? Why does it look like Rune is... His face says he's sad. He looks depressed. But his arm reaching it furtively into his jacket looks like he's about to pull out a gun and shoot me. Like he's just waiting to take offense at something. Why is his hand just going inside of his jacket? Tell me about your background, Al. I understand you have a long work history in the Arctic. Too long, my friend. Too long. I've seen all kinds of creatures in here. All kinds of jaunty fellows. You know, Al, it, this would be a little less awkward if you actually turned around to look at me. You realize you're talking to a window, right? Tell me about the crevasse. Did you say the artifacts were in a cave, not in the bottom of the crevasse? A glacial cave beneath the ice, yes. It was deep beneath the surface. Not a very pleasant place. But don't start getting any weird ideas about academic investigations or anything. I found it and I'll dedicate it to pumping black gold. Oh yeah, that's gonna stop me. Don't do anything crazy like investigate the ancient artifacts that may hold hold secrets to the past or anything. You know, no, just don't. I'm just gonna burn them in the fire. What is going on? What are you working on? Right now, uh, my main field of expertise, a sandwich. Al? You're a piece of shit. Apparently the only thing he likes in life are sandwiches and oil. Tell him about the polar bear. Did you see my new mascot? I did, but how long is she going to stay in that cage? That's a different thing. I'm not going to keep her. What's the problem with her? Infected jaw. Dooley will probably agree to send in a vet. That's a ballsy move, you know, to capture a polar bear. Alright. 
Well, what, can, can I, like, give the polar bear some food? And Walt's turned around, like, shove the syringe in its hind quarters and inject it and then run away before it mauls me to death? That seems incredibly stupid, but I'm really not sure what to do. Note, I think I already read this. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, feed it. Household cream? Household cream? In other words, just cream? Why does it say household? Is that as opposed to business cream? It's a garden of thick cream. Yum! It will just turn sour if I carry it around. True. Sandwich. Judging by the size, Al made it. Hmm. A sandwich actually sounds pretty damn good right about now. Milk. About 70%... About 70% of the population hold a mutated gene that allows them to process lactose as an adult. Fun facts from Rune Nuts Knudsen. Well, I actually remembered how to pronounce his last name. Knudsen. Vegetables. Either the vegetables are in shadow or they're a rotten pile of blackness. Shady. Do you mean literally like they're in shadow or they look like they might be bad? Could you clarify, Rune? Wait a minute. Can I leave the fridge open? Nope. <laughs> okay. It closes automatically. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, should I contact uh, Thule or Thule about the polar bear? Station so receiver transmitter, have some skill with it. Indeed, you do. Can you use it? No, you can't. Hmm. Alright, let's go talk to Nova. Nova, are you alright? Rune? No, not really. You know, if you need any assistance, I've got some quality razor blades. <laughs> You're a real friend, but I think I just need some rest. And sure the date's still on? I'm just gonna leave her be. Okay. Good night. Spare room? Anyone in there? Hello? No answer. Let me just double check what was in my room. Is there anything I could possibly use? Bunk? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Triangulation device? Do I need that at all? Nope. Computer? Oh, shit. Wow, okay, I can actually use my computer. Uh, text viewer? <laughs> what the hell is this? It certainly isn't Windows. Uh, what? Okay, it, this appears to be like Windows 95. Greenland polar bear hunting patterns associated with sea ice decline. Contact... Uh, Rune Knudsen at bergen.edu.no Abstract Oh, is this the... Oh, oh yeah, this is... Uh, this must be my thesis. Yeah. Alright, abstract. Near the southern latitude... latitudes of polar bear Ursus Maritimus range, changes in polar bear hunting patterns correlate with sea ice decline. In this thesis, we test these pattern changes in Katek... Eastern Greenland, above uh, 90, uh, 78 degrees latitude. Given the GPS caller's reliability, spatial accuracy, and other associated measurements, we use automated GPS callers to record the location and activity for adult female polar bears. Compared to earlier research, we chose TTQ evaluation to evaluate the effect of sea ice diminishing on hunting behavior, geographic profiling, and search patterns based on the critical predation concept more quantitatively. Key topics of focus include sea ice, snow, weather, marine mammals, land mammals, fish, and quality and quantity of animal populations. This research is funded by Bergen University Department of Zoology and the Bergen Zoological Museum. Katek facilities and logistical support is provided by Project EPGE, a subsidiary of Euler Petroleum Worldwide. 
As always, after reading a scientific abstract, I now feel exhausted and feel like I should never talk again for the rest of my life. Boy, they're always a mouthful, aren't they? Proxy track. Don't know what the hell that's about. Obviously don't need it. Triangulator, which is sitting on my desk. Oh, I guess I could track the polar bears. Wow, it's actually like a proper interface. Hmm. Well, don't need to do that yet. Alright, let's head back out. Right. So... How am I doing this? Broom. Wait a minute. Now, putting on a pole doesn't make any damn sense. You wouldn't be able to inject it. You might be able to stab it in, but you wouldn't be able to inject it. Alright, let's go back outside. Maybe now that it's been a while, it's, I, I don't know, asleep or something? Let's check up here. Lovely view. I don't think the snow plow is going to help me. Don't need it right now. Yep. And we are back here. Alright, polar bear. Well, shit. We'll see how she copes in that cage. <laughs> Can I give it to her now? She'll bite my hand off. Not yet. Sedate. Can't state her again, she might die. What am I missing? What could I possibly do? I can't just give it to her. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Got an idea. I can't just give it to her. Um, I can't sedate her again. But, what about this nice hunk of meat down here? We just carve pieces out of it. Multi-tool. Bingo! Holy shit, you just carved a meat chop with your multi-tool? With like a little half-inch blade? Damn. Oh, I guess I could just inject the meat, right? No? Pour it on it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, did he, I think he just did it, right? Yep, spiced up with silm... Silamicillin? Silamicillin? I don't know, something like that. But wait, I also have it in a syringe. I have it in two different forms. Here you go, girl. It's okay. Oh shit. God damn it, that's right. She can't eat. Fuck. Well, <laughs> this. Can I, like, shoot her with a dart gun, but instead of it being sedative needles, it's antibiotics? She'll bite my hand off. Okay. Well, I didn't get stuck on the first puzzle in this game, but I've gotten stuck on one pretty damn soon in. Okay, she can't eat it. So... So... Can I give her, like... Uh, can I process the meat somehow so that she doesn't have to chew? Like, turn it into, like, a meat milkshake or something? Let me see what I have to work with. I don't remember seeing a blender or anything like that. 
was a microwave. All right, let me go back down and see if I need to grab another hunk of meat. Well, wait, I, I can't even process meat because I can't cut off another piece. What the fuck? So I gave her meat that was laced with antibiotics, but she can't eat it, and now I can't get another piece of meat. So, what? I'm confused. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get too frustrated with the game, so I'm just gonna look at a walkthrough just for this one point. I'll be right back. Okay, I just looked at the walkthrough. Remember what I said about how we should enjoy the sensical puzzles that have been in the game so far? Well, that just came to an end. Guess what I have to do? I have to do an adventure game puzzle that makes no sense. Use this on the table saw. Mind if I borrow your saw? Count your fingers, college boy. Hmm, okay, I have ten fingers. Yes. I have to do that to get a wooden pole. Remember what I said about injecting it from a thing on a wooden pole wouldn't make any sense because even if you got it stuck into the bear, you wouldn't be able to inject it? Well, somehow it magically injects itself because I need to combine this with like this and then... Like that. No, like that. And tape. There we go. That's a pole syringe my zoology professor would be proud of. Are you sure? Do you have a magically injecting... Wait a minute. Could that work, actually? Okay, I was imagining... I was imagining the syringe being tied to, like, the side of the pole. But if you actually taped the head of the plunger directly to the tip of the pole... You could actually push it in, couldn't you? Hmm. Okay, well that's not completely ridiculous, but at the same time, why did I have to use the table saw to cut off the head of the flag to get a wooden pole? Why... Why not just use the pole as it was? Was it not pretty much fine? I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Surely the entire game won't devolve into stupid adventure game puzzles. I'm crossing my fingers. Please don't, please don't, please don't. It's just one. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Alright, stabby stabby. She's not gonna like this. It's for your own good. You'll get the next shot tomorrow. Okay. What the? Oh. Okay, that's just for later use. Pull syringe is the pull syringe I made. Okay, I think it might be time to, like, go to bed. I mean, she gets the next shot tomorrow, the bones won't be done until the morning. Maybe I should rest a little and then try to write my thesis. Alright, sounds good. I love the auto-skip thing, when you double-click, it automatically puts you at the destination. That's really nice. It's nice to, you know, properly walk around a new environment, but once you're going through it again and again, it does get a bit tedious. Okay, um, can I actually work on my thesis? Nope. Alright, time to go to bed. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I see Aurora.
Oh, shit. What a dream. What's that noise? Sounds like a garbled radio. Are you sure that was a dream? I think I maybe should go check on the bear. I think it might be pissed off. Something's maybe aggravating it. Hmm, check the radio, right? Living room radio, yeah. Radiator. Okay, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. They eliminated a lot of the hotspots, but they left the radiator in... Artificial plant. Around here, polar polar night lasts from late November to mid-January, so no real plant survives without a sun lamp. I think I'm in a nightmare. It feels like I'm in a nightmare. And there's a creepy red light coming from the living room. Okay. Hello? Any things in here? Any the things? It's blaring out something. What the fuck? Tully, you scared the hell out of me. I see the moon, the beast. I'm not even dreaming anymore. How the hell do I see them when I don't want to? What what beasts are you talking about? Wake him up. Okay, so he's sleepwalking? Let's stand back and see what he does. Don't come any closer. What the hell is happening here? Are you on something? It's close. It sees us. Oh, I didn't think stand back meant to get the hell away from me. I thought that meant, like, just see what he does. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Okay, Tully, I hear you. Take it easy. Everything is all right. Don't you get it? It's gonna rip off my skin, Rune. Any second now. I'm in the woods with Stu and little Wendy. It's by the oaks. There. There. See? Listen to me, you are on Alpha Polaris and there's nothing here. Take it easy. What? Are you sure? There's nothing here, Tully. Nothing here. Fuck. What beast were you talking about? What were the beasts you saw? At first I thought there were polar bears. But then, I don't know what the fuck it was. A spirit. Under the ice. Okay, easy now. Alright, what exactly did you see? What did you see in your dream? I don't know. I was back in Longwoods, Maine. And then in the glacier? The polar bears! They were... in the sky? It was wrong somehow. I get the feeling that something ancient has been awoken. Perhaps it doesn't like its precious artifacts being stolen. Angry spirits, maybe? Oh, what's up with the radio? Tully, what's wrong with the radio? How should I know? It's the... some electromagnetic shit or something. Hmm. Do auroras cause electromagnetic interference? I have no idea. Go back to sleep, you're fine. Look, maybe you should go back to sleep. No, no, I need to focus. You go ahead, Norway. I'll sit down here for a while. Are you...? I'm good. Now leave me alone. Okay. I'll do a quick check around the station. I really suspect that that bear screaming was not a dream. I think I need to go check on it. Alright. Let's just check around before I go out there, though. Alright, everything looks fine. Let me save it. Uh, I'll let them sleep. Check out the garage. Alright, no one in here. Good.
You know, I'd feel better with my tranquilizer rifle on me. I have no use for it right now. Alright, fine. Apparently he doesn't want the tranquilizer rifle. Put yourself in danger if you want to. Laboratory, anyone in here? Oh. Nice view. What's up, Al? Al? Look at that. A hell of a light show. Like the sky itself was burning. Such profound beauty. I took a reading with the magnetometer, and I think we're very close to a record-breaking geomagnetic event right now. There's something strange taking place here. Something's wrong with Tully. I ran into Tully in the living room and had a conversation with him while he was having some sort of nightmare. A waking dream? That's interesting, especially considering his fixations. He's constantly going over the dreams he's had, the dreams he will have, and so on. But I wouldn't worry. Ted's obviously very responsive to these things, and he's been under some stress lately. The isolation and the darkness can get to you. Not like this. It took me several tries to get him to wake up, and what he told me about the dreams... Yes, but still, between you and me, waking dreams occur mostly in juveniles. Let's put it this way. Ted doesn't always operate on the level of maturity one would expect. That is actually true. But still, that has absolutely nothing to do with his fucking waking nightmare dreams. But I will agree that Ted is an immature shit. But I've had nightmares too. There's more. I've also had a nightmare. In my dream, I remember the terror of someone watching me from a distant ice shelf. Tully had a feeling of something haunting him in the woods. You think there's a connection? I don't know what to think. Without trying to be dismissive, you both have spent long days out on the glacier. Anyhow, there may still be a powerful subconscious message for you to grasp. A spiritual one as some people in touch with themselves would say. You could be right. But maybe you should hit the sack before I switch on my full ramble mode. Maybe. Also, the radio's gone haywire. The radio is blaring out <clears throat> some weird noise. Yes, that makes sense. And it wouldn't even be the first time. Way back in 1859, a couple of great geomagnetic storms took place. They were caused by immense coronal mass ejections in the sun. Back then, telegraph stations were spreading all over rural America. Electricity was soon to be introduced to households, and telegraph lines operated with it. As it happened, something freaky took place during a peak in the solar storm. Stations in Portland and Boston maintained conversation for several hours with no battery power. They were using some form of geomagnetic energy? Correct. Geomagnetically induced current is the term. The field lines fall here, Rune. Now, I don't know the specifics, but I think the ion storm is causing the effect you described. Who knows? We might see even more peculiar things happen. Yes, very strange things, like we might see waking nightmares and demons and things, the things, all the things. Geomagnetic events, or event? How can an ionospheric phenomenon have effects this severe? Well, I'll bet you see Aurora in Norway all the time, Rune. You know much about them? The basics. They're caused by solar wind getting trapped by Earth's magnetic field. That's the science. However, the Cree call them the Dance of the Spirits. Looking at them here, in the middle of this desolation, they waver constantly, like a veil or a mask. A mask shifting to reveal a glimpse of some long, lost truth. Perhaps a visual message, which we, as mankind, are no longer able to connect to. I like how earlier he was just some, like, crazy, like, some sort of crazy dude lusting after oil and sandwiches, and not giving a flying shit about any of this, like, the- he just found ancient bones and, like, an ancient hide with all sorts of ancient symbols on it. 
And then now he's spouting off all of this spiritual bullshit as if he's some sort of a wise person? Like, what the hell? Does he have multiple personalities? This is totally different. No, disagree. There's no causal connection to anything linked to mankind. Just astrophysics. You're right. Forgive me. Maybe the only thing you're witnessing here is an old fart rambling. Hmm, I can talk about my nightmares again? There's more. I've also had weird. a nightmare. Okay, in skip. My dream I... Without any help, a sp... You could be... But... I'm not sure why that keeps popping up. Hmm. One more thing. I don't think you'll be able to reach anyone with a radio tomorrow. We've blanked out during ion storms half this magnitude before. Then I'll treat the bear myself. That's the spirit. We should also power down the tower so nothing gets fried. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Great. So, creepy stuff is happening. We just uncovered some ancient bones. Looks like we might have awakened some evil spirit. And we also have no connection to the outside world. Lovely. Alright, well, let's go check on the bear. <laughs> like hell, I will. Okay, fair enough. What do I need to do? Alright, I need some sleep. Or owls, owls right. I need some sleep. Let's go back to bed. <laughs> you know what I'm betting? What do you bet I wake up tomorrow to Ted having been mauled by the bear? Good night. Day two. This sounds like the first day. Again? Hey, Knudsen, you gotta see this. Kamardar, don't you go all sweet on me. I found something real fucking eerie. Don't go all sweet on me? He's Norwegian. What the fuck? <sighs> well, I'm gonna get up anyway. I'll be friendly. The Swede here needs a little more sleep. You need to see this. Fun. At Forval stop. Give up. Okay. You win. Get down here then. And about last night, we need to talk. Well, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, he apparently did not get mauled by a bear. Damn. Verte Absinthe. Holy shit, he really is a drunkard. Do help out with my writer's block. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna help you. Did, did I just take that? What the hell am I gonna do with Absinthe? Do I need to start any fires? Alright, is there anything else new in my room? Actually, maybe that's why he's having horrible nightmares, because he's getting fucking pass out drunk. Alright, don't suppose I need to take the crampons? No. Check the computer? See if I have any new emails? Oh wait! This computer apparently can do nothing but view one text file, track Proxies, whatever that means, and triangulation thingamabob. What if I actually put in one of the caller IDs? I don't think I need to do that yet. But I'm curious. Oh, three, three, nine. That's the so that's the newest bear that should be in the cage out there. Is it case sensitive? I don't know. A L O. Wait, is that O or a zero? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do with it now. Um. Okay, fuck it. Goodbye. Hmm. Wait, am I going the right way? Garage? Uh, no, I'm not going the right way. 
put on my gear. Can I take this tranquilizer? Nope. Better see what he has to say first. All right. What have you got for me, Tolly? Let me guess. It has something to do with the bear. Yep. That was not a dream. She's gone. Gory, ain't it? That's a piece of her flesh. Oh. So she wanted out and ripped the cage open? I don't see any other way this could have happened. Putting her in the cage was a dumb idea. You've been doing your science project on climate change or whatever. Is this it? What, is this because of climate change? No. <laughs> it seems like the Aurora... The Aurora or... Whatever the hell we've uncovered... Whatever the hell is disturbing us and causing us dreams... She was sensitive to it, and got really pissed off, and... Well, maybe not pissed off, probably scared. And she was trapped in a cage, so naturally, I guess... It was irritating her so much that she bashed her way out... Out of the cage and hurt herself in the process. Disagree. No. Polar bears are unpredictable animals. Especially when hurt and captured. You really don't see the pattern here? We are basically animals, right? Maybe the storm messes up everything with a brain. That's exactly what I was thinking, but what does that have to do with climate change? Alright, tell me about last night. Like you last night. Yeah, just like that. Man, I was far off. I guess it's plausible. The human brain functions on electric signals. I've been checking the magnetometer, and the worst is yet to come. The storm is gaining momentum. I probably need to put the bear down. Can I take the snowmobile? Sure, the keys are in the ignition. I need to chill somewhere for a while. Alright, well I guess I can follow the blood trail. Track leads... Uh, track lead... Tracks lead northward and then disappear. It has lost a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. If it's lost that much, that much blood in like 10 feet or whatever that is... It's probably dead now. Mangled cage, I should have known this. I mean, it's not like he did anything wrong. I mean, the thing was definitely going to die if he didn't put it in a cage and try to treat it, so... Pull syringe, can I take it? Don't need it? Nope. Need to find a way to track the bear first? Oh! Right. Okay, uh, how do I do this? Hmm. I think I need the triangulation, triangulation device. And then I need to enter something in my computer. Alright, device. Take it. There we go. I made that. It runs on USB power and listens to low band frequencies. Can I use it with the computer? Need to be able to move the computer around before hooking that up. Alright, can I... Oh, okay. There we go. Laptop with USB triangulator. Alright, I guess that's it. And then go out and track it down. Do I have to actually, like, enter the information and get the information first, or does he automatically do it? Okay, need to find a way to track it. I have to do it. Alright. Can I, like, use it? Oh. Proxy track. Okay. Uh, I have no fucking clue what this is. And your heading. Okay, my heading I can get by this. 
Actually, I'm kind of going the wrong way. Hold on, let me face towards the blood. No, that's... Uh... Come on. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Whoops. Damn it. I don't know if it matters where I'm actually aiming. Like, why does it need that information? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Like, don't I have a GPS collar attached to it? So why would I even need to triangulate anything? Could I just, like, use GPS? I don't know. Whatever. Nor why does this why after that does it say north equals zero degrees? Oh, that's what zero degrees is? North? Uh -oh. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh... Oh, do I just need to do this from, like, two different points? Take 15 steps to your current heading. I don't think I can do that. Like, do you want me to do it now? Uh... I took two. Is that good enough? Whoops. This can't be possible, I did something wrong. Okay. Let's do it from here. 208. I should probably reset this. Alright, plot one. Take 15 steps to your current heading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, shit. Hopefully that's good enough. I did something wrong. God damn it. Right, so I'm taking readings from two different spots to be able to triangulate where it actually is. I get that. I guess I just need to be pretty damn far away. Like this. How about that? Is that far away enough? 236. Like, does it actually have to be the exact same heading? Because the chance of me being able to get the exact same heading when I have such finicky control over my character is pretty much impossible. All right, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, or whatever that was. Okay, what's my heading? That's really close. In degrees? That better be good enough. Oh, despite the radiometric interference, I'm getting a position. Yes! Got it. Whew, the bear's about one and a half kilometers northeast of here. Better take the snowmobile. Let's go. Shouldn't... Shouldn't I take the tranquilizer gun with me? I told you to put it, I need more fire firepower. Okay, good. He's echoing my thoughts. I would not want to go tracking a polar bear out into the wild without some sort of firepower. Oh shit, am I actually going to take both? I won't do any good against an unpredictable wounded bear. True. Okay, I guess I'm taking the, the real gun. Okay. The mother of all shotguns. There are six slugs in the chamber. Here we go. 